all right guys so one of my favorite sayings that i actually made up right myself that i think perfectly describes the back and forth between the republicans and the democrats is that uh the republicans let the democrats take layups and the democrats just miss layups okay that that really does um describe our politics in my opinion because the republicans they, they focus on playing defense almost to a fault okay being led by mitch mcconnell mitch has built a career off of obstruction right he he's just like i'm against everything the democrats want to do no matter what it is because it's coming from the democrats and that is perpetually playing defense right and when you perpetually play defense you will always be in a position where you have to defend yourself okay and when you're always defending yourself you're always going to seem like the bad guy and this is one of the things I, I dislike the most about Mitch McConnell for as intelligent as the guy is, because he really is. And I know people don't like Mitch McConnell, but the dude, I mean, he is a master politician and I, I get it, right? People don't like hearing this, but it's the truth. These guys don't become the leaders of their parties without being excellent at what they do, without being smart. Same thing goes for Nancy Pelosi, right? I don't like her. I don't like the things that she stands for, but I got to give her credit where credit is due, right? In terms of her ability to play the game of politics. And in my opinion, guys, I, I think that the Republicans have to start to go on offense. And this is why Trump and Ron DeSantis, in my opinion, are popular in the Republican Party now, okay? This is why the establishment is hated and those guys that are kind of seen as outsiders, even though Ron DeSantis isn't really an outsider, but he's going on offense, right he's going on offense he's not just perpetually playing defense against the de democrats he's actually trying to legislate and to fight back okay now i get everybody might not necessarily agree with the things he's doing but he's trying right he's trying and a lot of people like that and i think that's something that the congressional republicans need to learn from desantis you can play offense right being a conservative doesn't just mean uh, obstructing to the Democrats and not pushing anything yourself. That's not what it means. S sometimes you have to go on offense and put pressure on the Democrats to play defense. And the Republicans in this situation, they are attempting a layup, right? Finally, a rare layup, but the game is already over, okay? As Republican lawmakers have introduced a bill to study Antifa's involvement in the riot so this is obviously a response to what nancy pelosi and democrats are doing in terms of pushing the january 6th commission right to study what happened on january 6th now if you guys remember this passed in the house um and the senate blocked it right the republicans in the senate blocked it now they blocked it because obviously it's not really bipartisan it's a partisan thing that's only going to hurt the right. It is the left's way of keeping January 6th in the minds of American people and making sure that people never forget about it. Never forget that it happened. And this is why they keep framing it and calling it a 9-11 style commission because they want you to associate January 6th with 9-11. That's what they want. See, Democrats are good at playing this game. Democrats are good at that. Republicans gotta be smarter. And this that's basically the point of this video. And that investigation and the findings would have carried on for a long, long time. And again, it would just be something else for the Democrats to talk about. The Democrats are gonna use that for the rest of eternity. That's just the situation that the Republicans are in right now, right? So I understand why they blocked it. But, but at the same time, I said that the Republicans, instead of just blocking it, they should have fought back and said, no, let's investigate what happened all last year in 2020 because the republicans can use that against the democrats the same way that the democrats use january 6 against them right they can do that right it's, this is not a crazy idea but no republicans don't do that because they just want to play defense to a fault and again this is primarily mitch mcconnell's fault that's my biggest criticism of him to be quite honest with you so let's read a little bit more about this and i'll give you guys my thoughts Representative Don Bacon, along with reps uh, Rodney Davis, Tony Gonzalez, uh, David Joyce, Nancy Mace, uh, Maria Everett Zalanzar, and Van Taylor introduced a bill Thursday to investigate Antifa's involvement in the explosive riots that took 
the nation by storm in 2020. Specifically, the legislation would establish the National Commission on Domestic Terror Attacks on the United States, an independent bipartisan commission uh, structured similarly to the 9-11 Commission. Quote, while majority of participants in demonstrations across the country in 2020 were peaceful, the events themselves became destructive due to the organized push for violence by Antifa, Bacon said. Many cities were burned and businesses destroyed. Retired police officer David Dorn was shot and killed while protecting a business. People were harassed while simply eating at outside restaurants and Americans across the nation feared for their lives. We're seeing we're still seeing violence in Portland in recent weeks, just as with the January 6th attack on the Capitol. We must learn the truth about who's behind the violence and who is pushing a narrative to try and weaken our country and to scare people into submission. Quote, last year, I watched in horror as the violence and destruction wrought by Antifa drowned out the voices of Americans who were uh, exercising their constitutional right to peacefully protest and petition their government for change, Joyce said. Destruction of property is unacceptable no matter if it's a small business, a place of worship, or the United States Capitol. Violence is unacceptable no matter the political affiliation of who commits it. I'm proud to join my colleagues in introducing this bill and urge the speaker to allow the House to vote on it. Last year, uh, organized sales of criminals hijacked overwhelming peaceful protests and used the legitimate grievances of others uh, as cover to commit horrific uh, acts of violence. May said they caused billions of dollars in property damage and attacked law enforcement officers and innocent bystanders in cities across the country. And Tifa bans uh, represent the same threat to our nation posed by other terrorist groups. We must do all to uh, understand and neutralize the dangerous movement before more are harmed. Okay, so I'm just reading these quotes so that you guys kind of understand the framing here that Republicans are using. Obviously, they're giving ground to the left in terms of acknowledging uh, the legitimacy of the peaceful protests last year. Um, but at the same time, they're saying, you know what, we have to investigate all political violence okay they're at the same time saying that you know what happened at the capitol is wrong this is the framing of this and i i would not have an issue with it if they had just done this back when it first happened right back when the democrats was pushing this idea of a january 6th commission this should have been what the republican answer was right the republican answer should have been okay fine let's investigate what happened because honestly a lot of people on the right want to know what happened on January 6th. A lot of people on the right want to know well, how did these protesters actually get in, okay? And where they let in? What happened there? What happened to those that died that day? Uh, whether it was uh, Ashley Babbitt or the police officers, right? People want to know what actually happened. There's a lot of questions that people on the right have about what happened that day, okay? It's not just people on the left that want to know. People on the right want to know more about what happened. There can be some bipartisan agreement there. But what the Republicans should have done is they should have said, on top of that, since we're talking about political violence in this country, let's investigate Antifa. Let's investigate the political violence that happened all last year that everybody saw that tore up these cities. What they should have did is that they should have went out there and gave a presentation on people that were killed or negatively affected by the violence, a lot of whom, again, um, are people of color, the same people that uh, Democrats claim to care about so much. This is how you reverse things back on them. You go out there and say, D all these people were killed. Some of whom were police, uh, 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 people of color. You see this, pol this police officer here, David Dorn. Um, he was killed during one of these violent protests. Um, who, who's funding this stuff? Who's giving resources? Who was donating resources to fund these movements, to fund these riots? Those are questions that people want to know. People want answers to. Do you Democrats not care about these people? Do you D Democrats not care about why this happened? Do you Democrats not want to prevent this from happening again? Why is it that you only want to investigate one set of political violence? Why don't you want to investigate political violence on your own side? Because us on the right, we all agree that political violence is wrong. We all agree on that. We have no issues with investigating that. Do you? Do you have an issue with investigating political violence? Because I thought you cared about political violence. If you care about it on the right, you should care about it on the left. That should have been the framing from the get-go. And they should have said, listen, 
we want this January 6th commission, but we have to investigate everything. And if the Democrats don't agree to investigate everything, then they don't want a January 6th commission. And this is the same trick the Democrats pull on the Republicans for anything that the Democrats want. When the Democrats want their infrastructure bill, right? They're like, oh, Republicans don't want uh, all of our infrastructure. It's not really infrastructure. They don't want everything we want. So therefore, they're against infrastructure. And Republicans can do the same exact thing when it comes to January 6th commission slash investigating Antifa. They can just say the Democrats are the ones that don't want you guys to understand the political violence going on in this country that should have been the framing that's how you play offense but that's not what the republicans do the republicans are always playing defense because all they know is everything democrats want is bad <laughs> right that's all they know rather than saying you know what let's actually figure out how we can use this to our advantage let's actually figure out how we can appear to come out on top because if the republicans frame it that way Right. And, and doing peak time when the media was covering this, because by the way, the media is not covering this at all. If you Google this um, and Google whatever, right, you're not going to see, oh, Republicans introduced bill to investigate Antifa because the media doesn't care. When the media was covering this at the peak, when they couldn't ignore it, the Democrats, I mean, the Republicans, the leaders of the Republicans, Mitch McConnell, Kevin McCarthy, should have went out there and went in on how we need to investigate both. And that we cannot come to an agreement unless we investigate both. That is a truly bipartisan commission. Let's deal with all the political violence. That puts the left in a situation where they're like, okay, can we really afford not to investigate everything considering that the Republicans have put the ball in our court? Because the American people all saw what happened with BLM and Antifa. Everybody saw that. Everybody knows about that political violence that happened. And most people don't agree with it. That's why Black Lives Matter is so unpopular as it is today. Because everybody knows what happened last year was wrong. Nobody agrees with that. People don't agree with that. Majority of American people are not on board with that. That type of violence. So you put the Democrats in a situation where if they say no, then it makes it look like they're not actually serious about stopping political violence it makes it look like what the republicans are saying the whole time is that the, that the january 6th commission is, is just a democrat game they look right you go on all the liberal networks msnbc cnn and that's what you say you say oh we'll come on and talk about january 6th commission and then as soon as you get on the show you and they ask you about january 6th commission. no i i, I grew the january 6th commission all right um but in order to get that, we want to investigate all political violence, um, including investigating Tifa and all things that happened last year. Because as everybody watching this show knows that there was violence that happened all last year that resulted in billions of dollars in damage and, and small businesses being burned down, property being damaged, people losing their lives. We need to get to the bottom of all of it. And I encourage my Democrat colleagues to get to the bottom of all of it. Not just one side. Let's get to the bottom of all of it. I want to know everything, including on my side and on their side you can't beat that messaging you can't beat that that's how you play offense because i would be interested in seeing the mental gymnastics that nancy pelosi would do trying to explain away why there only should be a commission to investigate january 6th but not all the other political violence that happened in this country throughout all of 2020 that caused way more in economic damage that affected way more people's lives that way more people lost their lives from than what happened on january 6th I would be very interested to see how she would explain that away. But Republicans never do that. They don't do that. They don't, they don't play offense. They don't take layups. They let Democrats take all the layups. Democrats miss, <laughs> but the Republicans, they just let them take them. And that's how you describe politics. And that's why this bill is just too little too late. And this is why Republicans, they, they can't get ahead because they don't play offense enough. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.